guys, so I'm starting off by using my moisturizer. This is by Origins. It's their Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer, and I love it because it's so lightweight. It's a gel formula. It smells really good, and it doesn't clog my pores. I have really dry skin, and this hydrates really, really well. Then I'm moving on to foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color 117, and I'm applying it to my finger and then putting it on my face. I applied a very thin layer. It might look like it's a little bit more on camera, but it really wasn't a lot. I didn't want to pack on the makeup. It dries really fast, so I would say work quickly with it. It gave me pretty good coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage, but it was about medium coverage with a thin layer, and it feels so lightweight. It literally felt like I had no makeup on. It's pretty matte, but it didn't cling on to any of my dry patches. So, so far, I really like this foundation, and I'm glad I picked it up. As you can see, the foundation gave me pretty good coverage. You can still see some freckles and my little acne on my cheek, but it's really not bad. It's a really good foundation. Moving on to eye primer. This is not new. This is my good old Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I'm priming my eyelids and then also priming my eyebrows for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I didn't film my brows, but this is the finished product. Hope you guys like it. And then I had to decide the original Tartlet palette or the Tartlet in Bloom. I decided I'm going to go in order and use the original one first. So I'm starting off by taking the shade Force of Nature, which is a kind of like a light brown. And this is going to be my transition shade. Well, I can never say that. But um, you can start with your lid shade, whichever shade you want. This is just what I like to do. Moving on to caregiver and this is a light pale purple I'm putting that right on top of force of nature because when I put the dark purple on and I blend everything out you're gonna see that light purple peek through and it's gonna give me a better gradient so I'm using that Sigma E40 and just blending everything out now I'm going in with Best Friend, which is a really pretty like violety plum, and this is going all over my lid. I'm using a Sonia Kashuk shader brush, and I'm just packing that on. I kind of thought the shade would be a little bit more pigmented, but it's it wasn't too hard to work with. But it's like not the easiest shadow either, so just keep that in mind. And then I'm going in with uh, Natural Beauty and blending that out. You want to make sure you just have a really nice blended lid. I apologize. I have my messages set up to my my computer. Does that make sense? So you might hear a lot of messages. I'm sorry, but now I'm just doing the same exact thing to the other eye By the way, if you haven't caught on most of these products are from my last video, which is my Sephora haul I am just testing out most of the products that I hauled So if you haven't seen the haul then I highly suggest checking it out I will link it down below moving on to concealing my under eyes and cleaning up my eyeshadow edge I'm using the bare minerals bare skin serum concealer. I am obsessed I mentioned this in my haul, but I think if you want like a full coverage concealer I would use a corrector and then put this on top. This will not give you dry under eyes I love Love it but like I said it doesn't give a ton of coverage so uh, use a corrector and then you will be good to go so now I'm just taking force of nature and because I cleaned up my edges I can see where I should blend more and all of that so I'm just working on the crease and buffing everything out so I didn't actually show you how I did my winged liner, but I do have a full-on video, which I'll link down below. And then I'm setting my under eyes with the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and this is actually a new powder for me. My sister gave it to me. She raved about it, and I have to say, it is a really, really good powder. So I'm setting my under eyes, and then, of course, my chin and also my forehead. I'm taking Best Friend, which is my lid shade, and this is going on the lower lash line. I'm concentrating it mostly on the outer edge and then kind of bringing it in, but it's still pretty dark anyway. So yeah, just working on that lower lash line. So I figured why not use Crybaby in my waterline, so I'm just putting that right in my waterline. This is another product that I hauled from Colourpop, and I actually like the way it turned out. It really brightened up my uh, waterline and it looked really nice. So moving on to my um, brow bone highlight, I'm just taking the lightest shade in the palette, which is called Super Mom, <laughs> that's pretty funny, and just highlighting right underneath my eyebrow. 
I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara, which is gonna give me the length and separation that I want, and then going in with L'Oreal's Miss Manga Rock, which is gonna clump up the lashes a little bit and also add volume. So this is like my favorite duo right now for mascaras. And then I didn't buy any contour powders, so I'm just using my Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. I love this palette so much, and I'm taking this shade subs <laughs> subconscious jeez Katie get it together and I'm just contouring my cheeks and my temples I had a couple people ask me if I can do like a contour video but there's so many out there that I think like is it really worth it so let me know because mine is like super easy it's not hard anybody can do it so for the bronzer I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in 01 I was a little bit nervous since it looked very orange in the pan but it actually turned out to be really pretty what do you guys think I just buffed it in I didn't use too much um, but I'm going over all the areas that I contoured. So for blush, I'm using Jordana's Rose Silk Blush, and I did haul the Becca Wild Honey Blush, but it was just so brown, I thought it would blend in with my bronzer, so I skipped that, I actually gave that to my mom. I wanted more of just like a pinky mauve shade. So now I'm blending everything out, and then for a highlight, I'm using that one from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and guys, I love this highlighter. I'm working on a, like, products for fair skin, and this highlight, if you have fair skin, this is going to show up on your face, and it's gorgeous. So uh, for a lip liner, I figured why not just stick with ColourPop. I'm using um, the Lumiere lip liner. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. So when someone's done lining my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Beeper. I have three to choose from, but I felt like Beeper would be a good choice. I love these ColourPop liquid lipsticks. They go on so smooth, as you can see, and it's just so easy to apply. Like, I have really small lips, and look, it's so precise. So if you're looking for some new liquid lipsticks, I would try ColourPop, and then I just put Beeper in the middle, just like subtly very subtly. Is that a word, subtly? <laughs> anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I'm tired of talking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.